In this video, I'd like to discuss the muscles the eye is seen on the anterior view. So we're looking at the front of the eye. Now, we got to remind ourselves that eye muscles go into the eye socket medially. At least the, uh, the superior and inferior oblique muscles will uh, enter into the skull and attach to the skull medially. So here's the medial side of the eye. Here's the lateral side of the eye. And this being a left eye, we're going to draw this guy in. And we begin, because uh, the eye, we know it does a little bit of kind of a, it is a little bit unusual, a little weird for us. We do begin deep, and I'm going to begin superior, with a deeper muscle, the superior rectus muscle. Now, superior rectus, I can normally don't have to color in that well let's just draw him on and leave him there superior rectus the superior rectus is covered up by another muscle that has actually super, uh, superficial to it and this is the superior oblique muscle and superior oblique muscle passes through uh, passes superior to this muscle so we'll color it in it passes medially into the eye and passes through a tendinous sling as it will attach to the back of the eye. So then we can color him in just a little bit here. And we can see the position of these two muscles anatomically. Now once we have these guys drawn and everything else is pretty easy. Now we have an inferior oblique muscle. I'm going to use blue. And the inferior oblique muscle goes in the same general direction, but we're not going to put him on the superior sling here. But we can color him in just a little bit, but we don't want to get too much going on there because I'm going to use orange. And we're going to cover him up with the superior rectus. And so we don't have to do much coloring of that guy because the superior inferior rectus muscle rather is superficial to that muscle. So we can see the position of these muscles anatomically, how they fit in the body, how they associate to each other. Because it's one of the things about drawing anatomy helps you do is learn relations of one part of the body to the other parts of the body um, versus trying to um, look at it purely in a diagram in a textbook. When you draw it out, you really learn it. And once we have these guys, the rest of it's very simple. If we're on the medial side facing the eye, I'm going to use purple, and we'll draw in the medial rectus muscle. Color him in. Not very hard to color him in here. Medial rectus. And we do have at least one color left. We can use gray for the lateral rectus muscle. Now, these, of course, are not muscles you have to know origins, insertions, and actions for, but these guys primarily are either innervated by one of three nerves. Um, many of them oculomotor, trochlear, or abducent nerve. But other than that, those are the extrinsic eye muscles seen from an anterior view. I hope these videos help you guys into understanding the anatomy. Take time to draw them, uh, but this concludes my little video on extrinsic eye muscles seen from the anterior view. Thank you.